Jim Izzo, class of 75, graduated summa cum laude with a double major in history and political science at St. Mary's 50th commencement. In college, he was a member of Phi Alpha Theta, the History Honor Society, and Pi Gamma Mu, the International Social Studies Honor Society. He also proudly co-captained the wrestling team and served as president of Tau Kappa Epsilon. I've known this guy for, well, almost 50 years now. He and his wonderful wife, Joan, married before our senior year of college, and they have been loyal and dear friends ever since. Jim reflects in his very being, in his career, in his marriage, in his friendships, really in every way, what we have been talking a lot about in Rome these days at the Institute, and that's Lasallian DNA. Our Lasallian charism, its mission, its devotion to a human and Christian education for the young, especially the poor, is certainly lived out every single day in Izzo's life. As a history teacher, generations of students, generations of friends, his fraternity brothers, his wife, all of us have found in him a true reflection of what it means to be Lasallian. After graduating, he began a 44-year teaching career at Montini High School in Lombard, Illinois, where he served as teacher, student government moderator, class moderator, department chair, alumni moderator, coach, and athletic director before retiring in 2019. I've counted on Jim uh, in a lot of capacities, especially because he's a man of integrity. And in a world that values alternative realities, uh, it was always a comfort to me to know that if I would talk to Jim, I would get the truth. Teaching was a relationship for him. It was not simply the imparting of information. It was the establishment of a trustworthy relationship between student and teacher. We were always encouraged by the founder to talk to people in language they can understand, language that they can access. And James is very good at that. Another thing that I saw in him was fidelity. Fidelity to his family, fidelity to his friends, fidelity to the brothers, and especially fidelity to his students. To me, that was always very impressive. And if you are talking about teaching by example, I think we can see that that's one of the examples that he gave. It was not just a job, not just a profession, it was his vocation. Whatever else we may have done wrong, we've done something right because we've been able to attract and hold people of this quality. Throughout his career, Izzo lived the Lasallian mission, fostering character development in the many students he worked with along the way. He was awarded with Montini's Lasallian Educator of the Year Award in 1994, was named Illinois Wrestling Coach of the Year in 1998, and was elected to both Montini's and the Illinois Wrestling Coaches Hall of Fame. Jim's not only a good fit for this award, I can't think of a person who better represents this LaSallean Service Award than Jim Izzo. In, since first grade, he has lived a life of faith and service. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've watched it in action. It's not just talk, especially on the service side. Jim has always been the first to step forward in a time of need and always put others first and always hide or diminish his own role. Uh, he'll, he'll lead from behind and it's a wonderful sight. I can't imagine that faith and that service uh, have touched the lives of thousands and thousands of us all around the country. I watched through the years at St. Mary's how Jim, as a young adult, put those into those values, those Osalian values into service as a young adult. It, it was a joy to see then and 55 years later from our friendship, um, it's still evident and it's still getting stronger. He has dedicated his life to serving and providing a Lasallian example to the thousands of young people with whose lives he came into contact. Izzo, what can you say? I'm telling you, there's no one who deserves the Lasallian Service Award more. 
Jim, thank you for 50 years of friendship. Thank you for your integrity, for your honesty, for your dedication to truth, and for your incredible sense of humor, of which I have been the butt more than one time. <laughs> and also for the uh, just the great humanity that you bring to this wonderful endeavor we call the Salian Education. Jim, I can't think of anybody more deserving of this award. All the people you've touched, all the thousands of young people you've touched, all of your friends throughout your life, uh, your parents smiling down on all of us. You have done an amazing service, Jim, and it's been one of the great honors of my life to call you my friend. You do represent, Jim, the Lasallian service ideal. <laughs>